as I promised before we went away on break, here we are at the Western Development Museum and I'm talking to Kathy, who's the executive director? No, I'm the manager. The manager, manager yes. woohoo. Woohoo, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the 65th anniversary of the Western Development yeah. Museum program in Saskatchewan is happening on April the, and you can tell us those dates and stuff. Sure, the actual anniversary for the Western Development Museum is actually on April 2nd. But across the system, so in Saskatoon, North Battleford, Yorkton, and in Moose Jaw, we're celebrating on April 6th, which is the Sunday. And it's, you know, the idea of 65 years, like I can remember this building is not 65 no, years old, no, no. but where was the first one? The first one was actually in North Battleford. That's where the WDM was born. And then Saskatoon opened, then Yorkton, and actually Musha is the baby of the group. We didn't open until 76. Man. Yeah. Now, each, and each, each museum itself has a, a specific theme, like in, in Saskatchewan, in Musha here, we're transportation. Right. Yeah, we do. Every branch of the Western Development Museum is very different. So we do want to make sure people know that so they realize the value in visiting all four. Uh, as you said, Musha is transportation. Uh, Saskatoon, their main thing is the 1910 Boomtown. So there's like a, a streetscape when you walk in. That isn't everything you'll see there, but that is sort of their main attraction. North Battleford is Heritage Park and Village. Pardon me, Heritage Farm and Village. So everything is outside, or a lot of their exhibits are outside, and so it's wonderful to visit. And Yorkton is the story of people. So they talk about the different uh, ethnic groups that came to the province. And so again, you're going to see something quite different there. Yeah, and and I know I've been to I've been to uh, Saskatoon, mm -hmm. and they have amazing pie in their restaurant. <laughs> yes, they do. You know they? Boomtown Cafe. Yeah. yeah, it's it's really very popular actually. Yeah. Yeah. But I and I I've driven past the other ones, but I never actually went in, so it's something maybe it it's a plan to, to do that. It is, and, and we encourage that with our admissions as well, because when you buy your admission, for instance, here in Moose Jaw, it's good for your visit that day and the next day. And also if you're able to visit another Western Development Museum within 30 days show them your receipt, they'll give you 50% off your admission to that facility. So we are encouraging people to visit more than one. Well, and, and they are such diverse and, and such quality displays. Thank like, you. I, I, you know, I, we're, we're talking, the last time we were here, which was like just a week or so ago, about um, Jay Leno wants one of your cars. I'm not sure which one it is, but <laughs> I think it's a steam car inside because he's a big Good steam team. aficionado and he's, so he's a... That, that car was actually in Saskatoon for a number of years okay. and we just got it here on display the la within the last couple of years and I've, I've wanted to see that here for a long yeah. time, so it was good to get it. Yeah, and of course, the transportation here covers all sorts of things, like the innovation of the, of the pioneers in there, making up like the uh, the snow machines that they made oh, and yeah. the airplanes the that snow, they, and they snow made. planes, snow planes exactly. exactly yeah. yeah, and they're just unique to our our problems, but also show the ingenuity of our uh, of the Definitely. pioneers. Definitely. Yeah, on exhibit here, actually, we have three snow planes, for yeah. instance, and one is a home built and then two that are, are manufactured here in the province, or were. So yeah, it's, it is great to see how we managed to live within the environment we were given. So you know, handling the, the cold and the distance has really brought out the creativity in our pioneers, for sure. Now, on the April the, the 6th, the 6th yeah. there's a special deal. It's the 65th birthday. I think what you're doing to celebrate is really neat. Yeah, we're offering uh, the opportunity for everybody to come and visit us that day, and the cost will only be 65 cents. So I think you see the connection there. Um, so yeah, it's a great opportunity to come to the museum to see what we have to offer and to help, help us celebrate 65 years. And then if you want to come again the next day, you have you can come, mm, not no, with the, you no, can't use your receipt? You can't, <laughs> That's oh, come on. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. sorry. 
But housed within the, here, you've got loops around that is yeah. set up, and also you have like the the, the famous, the, the world famous uh, aircraft restorers going here. Yes, too. we do. Actually, we're very, very fortunate. We've got quite a number of excellent volunteer groups that, that work with us. And you're right, one of them is the Vintage Aircraft Restorers. They're working right now on a Vickers Vedette. They're rebuild, or they're actually building this airplane from scratch. And it's a huge undertaking. So anyone that's had a chance to be up and see it in the past, you'll want to come back and see where they're at now. They've made a lot of progress. And for the few people who don't know, a vedette is an amphibian airplane. It is. It's, and, it's and a flying uh, boat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and uh, they use them for surveying yeah. and uh, you know and, and mapping out the country once they can get up in the air and make things. So it's a, yeah. it, it was quite an undertaking to because the guy who's doing the photography in the front. When you come, you'll see where he gets to sit, and it's not a warm place. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's a wide open place, and it, it is. It's a massive aircraft. It's a biplane, and huge. So it's it's great to see where they're at with it, and you can also see what's left of a hull of a vedette. That's all that's left in the province of any of these aircraft that did fly here. So. It's very cool to see. And we've been having recently a lot of <coughs> exciting events here, like recent the, the model train uh, display. Yeah. You know, people with model trains. Tell people about how successful and how exciting that was. It was wonderful. That's that is actually an event that takes place uh, here at the Western Development Museum, but it's in partnership with the Thunder Creek Model Railroad Club, and they host this model train show every year in March, usually, and uh, it was just held here actually last weekend and they had a phenomenal turnout. There were over 2,200 people here over that weekend and we had exhibitors here from uh, Calgary, Saskatoon, Prince Albert, um, Regina and they there were model train layouts throughout the entire museum so it was wonderful people could come and see what we have to offer but also take in these incredible layouts and the work that goes into these things they're very fine it's amazing they're really really amazing uh, the scenarios that they set up like the, mm. the towns or the businesses exactly. and the mountains and you just like whole I know it takes it's hours and hours of work uh, the club the club actually had a they did a series of workshops this winter that were very, very successful. And so keep keep an eye out for those. They may be doing those again next year. And uh, you have, of course, the, the, the short line railroad mm -hmm. around here. And yeah. everything's back and running now? Everything is back and running. Uh, the Vulcan, which is the only steam operating locomotive in the province of Saskatchewan, uh, will be out running again this summer, thanks to some very dedicated local volunteers. And uh, actually, that's, that's something I should mention, too. Uh, we're always looking for help when it comes to running the train, not just for being the engineers. You do have to have special licensing to be able to do that. But if anyone is interested in, in working on the track itself or um, on the, the um, on the station and anything like that. There's lots to do over and above actually driving the train or to be a conductor perhaps. Just let us know because there are certainly opportunities. And you have a, a great cooperation with the other museums. You said that the steam car came down, but mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> the volunteers, people come into the community and they say, well, what can I do to get involved? And being a volunteer up here, here at the museum mm -hmm. is a very rewarding and also Definitely. a very necessary th thing. We, we wouldn't have the facility we have today if it wasn't for our volunteers, whether it's, you know, the airplanes, the steam program, uh, the ham radio club, the model train club. And we have a number of people that we call our special events volunteers, and they come out and help us for special days, whether it's, you know, um, school programming or an Easter program, for instance, that's coming up in April, things like that. Um, they come out and they help us. They make sure that things run smoothly. And Easter egg hunt? We're not doing an Easter egg hunt. Not yet. But not yet, no. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, I, I think maybe somebody wants one. Uh -huh. uh, anyway, so they come out and help us out for those. And uh, as I said, we would just not have the place we have without volunteers. Yeah. And of course, there's the snowbird. Our snowbird Our exhibit, yeah. exhibit that's, which is <clears throat> probably the best collection in the world of, of things. 
Well, it's probably the only place that you're going to be able to get that close, that up that close to an actual tutor. Uh, I don't think you'd have that opportunity anywhere else. So it's it is a wonderful gallery, and we're very fortunate to have that here. Yeah, and, and there's uh, again there's related articles, but there's also pretty nice uh, visual journey that people can go on oh certainly yes we do have a, a film that we run on a continuous basis that yeah. people can can sit and watch and enjoy while they're here and sitting down is a good thing when you're watching that <laughs> yes it is definitely yeah, they, they, they take you with a camera inside the cockpit and uh, on the, on one of the uh, trips and you, it's a very exciting time you can feel it sometimes yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. so we have this wonderful facility. It's open 364 days a year. Not quite. Not we, we, we close on Mondays, okay. January, February, and March. That's it. The rest of the time, we're pretty much open. We close on some stats. For instance, Easter, uh, Good Friday, we will be closed. But otherwise, we're open pretty much every day from 9 until 5. Yeah. And it's reasonable cost to come up here. There's a lot of uh, fun things to do. Uh, don't forget, though, that the celebration is 65 years. 65 years for the for the WDM, yes. Yeah. It's a real milestone. Yeah. When did you come here? I've been with the WDM for about 18 years now. So You're it's, just a pup? I'm just a baby. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, me and, and the Moose Jaw Branch were both just babies in the yeah. system. <laughs> it's kind of unique to think of that, but it's, it's certainly a, a very interesting thing. Um, people come in here and they say, oh, 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 and they remember. It is, it's, it's really fun actually to see people make a connection to what they're seeing. And sometimes people think, you know, really it's just planes and trains and cars. What does it mean to me? But honestly, when you come in and you look at things and, and you read some of the information, you're gonna find something that either you remember as a child or you remember someone talking about or um, you've seen somewhere, somewhere else. and. I don't know, things like CF Sam, which is the air ambulance. Yeah. There are a lot of people that have family connections through that airplane. And uh, it's there's a lot to see and a lot to, to experience. Plus there's Winning the Prairie Gamble, which is our newer exhibit that we opened to celebrate 100 years of, of the province. And in there, gosh, the information is endless. So Winning the Prairie Gamble, 65 years, planes, trains, and automobiles. Thank you for sharing with us today. <laughs> Thanks I, I, I very hope much people can hope people can come up and take advantage of it because I know that you'll find um, it's always a good place to come. Even if you come here once or twice a year, things change and you look at things differently. So, thanks to uh, Kathy for being here. And thanks to you for watching. We'll see you again soon on Moose Jaw this week.